When Christ died on the cross, his soul descended into hell to bring those righteous who had lived before him up into the kingdom of God. St. John Chrysostom says to us that through his descent into hell, Christ has laid waste to hell. He has bound hell. He has mocked hell. Hell no longer has the power to retain. The very bolts, the locks of hell have been broken asunder by Christ. And so the kingdom of God is now open to receive the righteous. Death, physical death, is now for the righteous a transition from this world to the kingdom of God. In the fourth verse of the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation, we read of a multitude of saints surrounding the throne of Christ. Saints already alive with God, with Christ in the kingdom. Scripture teaches us that there, in the kingdom of God, there will be no labor, no, no sorrow, no suffering. In the kingdom of God, there will be communion between us, between us and between the angels, to a depth we cannot imagine in this life. And of course, communion with Christ himself. We are taught that we will not be servants, so much as heirs with Christ in the kingdom of God, called to serve him eternally as heirs, to live and glorify him in his kingdom. And we will see, the scriptures say, God face to face. We will know God, but not completely. God who is eternal, without limits. We will forever grow deeper into the knowledge of God, forever knowing more and more of God as he reveals himself to us. This is the condition of the saints in paradise, forever eternally growing in the knowledge of God. And everything that is necessary to achieve this kingdom is given to us in Christ. Christ gives us all through his church in the power of the Holy Spirit everything necessary for us to be saved, for us to enter the kingdom of God. We must not despair, we must not lose hope when we look at the sin within ourselves, when we, when we consider our personal sins, whether we take drugs or we're committing adultery or we refuse to forgive somebody. Perhaps we are addicted to, to online pornography. Whatever it is that we feel has a grip on us, we must not lose hope. God gives us the power in the Holy Spirit to overcome all things. And this overcoming is healing. Faith, faith is not a ship that we climb aboard and passively journey into paradise. It is not something that we sit back on and relax as it carries us to heaven. Faith must be active. There is nothing passive about it. When we have faith in Christ, we are called to struggle, to repent, to reject the passions and the sin that we see within ourselves. We are called in this life to be obedient. Many people mistakenly think of hell and heaven like geographical places. In fact, there is nothing physical or geographical about the kingdom of God. We enter the kingdom of God when we are obedient to God. We begin to live in God's kingdom in this world when we are obedient to him. So let all of us now respond to the call that Christ gives to us. And let us be obedient servants in this world that we may be heirs in his kingdom in the life to come.